hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to the dressing room please excuse a very very bare face as you can probably imagine i have just got out of the shower it is actually <laughs> mid-afternoon but i've had a very busy day working from home and then i'm just about to get ready to head up to london for a wonderful evening with lile at claridge's it is one of the most famous hotels in the world it is iconically british and it is just honestly the most exceptional hotel so i thought it would be really lovely i've got a little bit of time so i thought i would do a full get ready with me i get hundreds if not thousands of questions about how i do my big bouncy dyson blow dry as well as sort of different tips and tricks for makeup um so we're gonna do it all <laughs> We're going to take the sort of naked mole rat look into hopefully a beautiful, glamorous Leonora who is going to head to a fabulous event this evening. I'm so excited. It's sort of in partnership with Perry Jouette. As you know, I work with them. I absolutely adore them. Chantal is just the most exceptional human being. And I do know that sometimes she watches my YouTube channel. So if you are watching this, darling, I love you. I can't wait to see you later. And Lille, if you haven't tried Lille spritzes, you're missing out. You have not lived. They are absolutely delicious. I serve them for all of my summer drinks parties or any of my summer barbecues. And um, it's just wonderful. So I'm really, really looking forward to spending the evening with them at Claridge's. Anyway, if I waffle on any longer, we'll still be sat here in an hour's time and I need to leave <laughs> in an hour's time. So let's get started. As I said, oh, I've got an eyelash in my eye. As I said, I've literally stepped out of the shower. I don't even have moisturizer on. So first things first, I do have a little bit of puffiness under my eyes today. I think it's because I've been having a little bit of dairy as well as gluten, which normally my body is not really used to and I am intolerant to. So I can always tell whether I've got bags or whether I've got puffy eyes or bad skin. Luckily that hasn't quite happened yet, although this could, this is a potential. <laughs> Pray for me, pray for me. Um, so, one more one skin comes to the rescue. Whenever I have an event, you guys know I adore the rose gold brightening treatment masks. However, their depuffing, I think it's called zero, yeah, sub zero depuffing eye masks are magical. These work wonders. I used to wear these <laughs> when I was commuting up to London, working with Cartier, I would wear these on the train underneath sunglasses, or to be honest with you, I had no shame. I'd wear them like so. It's probably not how you're meant to put them on. Amelia always teaches me how to put them on, but voila. So I'm gonna do a full big bouncy blow dry with you whilst these are working their magic. And then we're gonna do a very quick, glowy, bronzed makeup look. They always have photographers. Hopefully James will be here this evening. So we need to be looking our very best, honestly. If they could see me a couple of hours before the event, do you think they would ever imagine that I looked like this? So when you are blow drying your hair, please tell me that you're using an oil or a heat protectant. I love this Barbary Fig Finishing Oil. It's an oil, it's protectant, it's nourishing. And that is what I use to just keep my hair in healthy condition. So I put that on from sort of the mid length to the ends and give that a good old massage in. Then I go in with Schwarzkopf's BC Bonacure Sealed Ends. Now this is a repair, it's also a heat protectant up to 200 degrees. So I never, never blow dry my hair without this. It is such a fantastic product. I also think it helps hold the curls. I don't know whether that's just me, but honestly I notice a massive difference. If I've run out for any reason, sometimes, a couple of times, I forgot it behind. It is amazing. And then my trusty old tangle teaser. And I give my hair a good old brush. I do also really need to give Alessio his Dyson back. I am seeing him 
bright eyed and not very bushy tailed on Thursday morning ahead of Glorious Goodwood. Oh my goodness me, I am so excited for Goodwood. It's one of those events in the year that nobody could stop stop me from going. It is such a spectacular event. Glorious Goodwood, well it's called the Qatar Goodwood Festival. They have the incredible Regency Ball on the Thursday night, which we will be going to, but that obviously is going to be in a whole nother vlog. Off piste again, but I will be seeing Alessio on Thursday morning. <laughs> I will probably have to give back the Dyson. So, oh, just picking up the hair drying part of the Dyson, I'm going to give my hair a really good blast with this. This is where you create the volume. So go crazy. We want to see Leo the lioness at this stage. So I'm going to go ahead just so that you don't have to listen to this annoying um, noise and I'll probably put it on a time lapse. So enjoy the music. <laughs> Now this is what I mean by poofy. We want volume, ladies and gentlemen. And then at this stage, I start sectioning my hair off with sort of medium sized sections from the bottom upwards. You will need a clip or a scrunchie, anything that will hold the top section up. I then take it into two. We do the left and then we do the right, which will actually be your left and my right. And then, you need the long slim barrel from your Dyson and then I let it suck the hair up and then I roll the hair up and then I just let it do its thing. It's probably around about 15 or 20 seconds like this and then what you need to have are these little silver clips. I will link them down below. They are as cheap as chips and they are from Amazon. And this is what will make your curls last. Two, if not three days. They're amazing. It just allows the hair to cool in the roll form. And then trust me, you will have these serious, big, bouncy curls. I switch the Dyson off. Hold the hair and just pull the Dyson out. Take the pin. Excuse me for looking. I've got my mirror over here. <laughs> And then I take another one and just secure it from the other side. So you end up with a little roll. And trust me, it is as easy as that. I'm now gonna change the direction on my Dyson. Turn it off, let it suck the hair up. Roll, Ooh, just a little bit. And then roll. I'm going to wait 15 or 20 seconds, I'm going to pin it, and then I will come back and show you the next section. Okay, so take your hair out of the clip or the scrunchie, then take the next section. I just literally take my finger and draw a line across, pop the top bit into the clip, and then section it in halves. And then what I normally have is two rollers here. So I take the back section like so, and then this. And I have that on both sides, like that. So this actually needs a little bit of a brush. And I'm gonna go ahead, section it into two, take the Dyson. This section's still quite wet and then roll it up. <laughs> We're rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I am crazy. Oh. It's better to be crazy than boring. <laughs> With it being slightly damper than the rest, I just like to take it, roll it up, roll it down, and just make sure we're getting the heat through the entirety of the section. Again, this might take slightly longer because of how wet it is. 
why it's super important to blow dry properly. Some things that I did not do, obviously. <laughs> Turn it off, hold the hair into that roller form, take the pin and pin it. I know I look crazy or I'm 100 years old with my rollers in, but the difference that this makes, if I don't do this, I can say goodbye to big bouncy hair because if I don't do this, I've probably got curls. They're not really curls, they're sort of waves for about an hour and then I've got dead straight hair. As you can see, this is my natural hair. Dead. Straight. It's always that thing, isn't it? When you, you really wish for something you don't have. So I wish I had beautiful curly hair and those who have beautiful curly hair wish they had straight. It's always the way, isn't it? Always want what we can't have. Switch it on. Let it sort of capture that hair onto the barrel and then just roll it up. section and what I try and do is just create almost a panel at the top like so it's almost like a Mohican section so we're gonna leave this central section and what I do is I blow dry it backwards so we're going to pop that back into the clip we're going to blow dry these next two sections and then I will come back and show you step by step how to blow dry the top bit because that is what creates the oomph, the drama to this blow dry. Tangle teasers are so good. That must be about five or six years old. It's one of those brushes, and I mean, I've gone through my fair share of brushes in my lifetime. It's one of those brushes that has managed to make it home with me, <laughs> as I was trying to say before I almost choked on my own hair, was it's one of those brushes that has managed to find its way home, and it has been all around the world. Love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Bright pink. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe that's why I don't ever leave it anywhere because it's so bright. There we go, that's the next section. Pop. We clip in. That one should stay. And then these tiny little bits at the top, just be super delicate with them because by this point, your hair is pretty much dry anyway and we don't want to cause any damage or any breakage to the hair whatsoever. So really, they only need about five, if not six seconds. Tiny little pin. Voila! <laughs> right, we are now on to the final section. And what I'd like to do is create quite small sections and as I said before, you blow dry it backwards. So the direction of the Dyson is this way. So blowing to the right. And then we're gonna give this a little bit of a brush. Then our hair will be finished. Whew, getting a bit warm under here. Put a very big dressing gown on. And it is the 1st of August. There are bright blue skies out there, which is just wonderful. It is also my birthday month. So exciting. So exciting. I am actually flying to 
my Yorker just before my birthday. So I will be celebrating in my Yorker this year, which is so, so exciting. So that is that little pin done. Then I'm gonna do a little one here and then I always leave quite a big section because I am guilty of backcombing. I also don't want a tramp situation where it all comes forward. Absolutely not. So we need something to be able to backcomb. So I do leave, if I look like this, I do leave quite a large chunk and then that looks wonderful when you take it all out. Next section. Your next little clip. These clips <laughs> are everywhere. In my car, in my wallet, in every single handbag I own. Right, last little brush and the last section. Oh, I have to really lean down to be able to see the top of it. My hair is growing at the rate of knots. I cannot even begin to tell you how healthy. Oh, you want to have the barrel quite close and tight down to your head just to ensure you've got all of these tiny little wispy bits in there. Switch it off. Hold the curl in. Oh, not that pin. That pin is broken. Hold that like that. Need one more pin for the top. Hopefully you can see I'm having to sort of crouch down. So please excuse my posture in this video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our hair done. So we've blow dried it, we've popped it in the rollers and I will actually keep it like this until I get to London and we will let it out just before we go into Claridge's. That way I can ensure that it is big, it is bouncy and it is my normal Leonora blow dry. My eyes have had time to depuff, and it is now time to create a very natural, bronzed and glowy makeup look. We do only have 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes before I need to leave, so I'm gonna do that very, very quickly. Now, just so that you can see, these little eye patches are miracle workers. They are absolutely amazing. And then, please excuse my phone, it continues to be a busy day. So that is my eyes done, and they will continue to work their magic. I never go anywhere or start a makeup look without my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And as you can see, I'm in desperate need of more of it. So, I am going to just pop a touch of this on. I say a touch, that is far too much. I got a bit excited then. And I just massage that into my skin and it just creates such a wonderful base. It's also got SPF 30. I do normally always have SPF 50 on my skin, no matter the weather. However, I'm actually not going to do that today. As you can see, look at that glow already. It's such a beautiful base. Absolutely love this moisturizer. And I've tried so many others and I just find that the combination between the Magic Cream and then Charlotte Tilbury's foundations is so beautiful and flawless. Why change it if it's not broken? So I am loving that. Now for the base. Because I have relatively clear skin, Today, <laughs> I am going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is such a fantastic product, and you can use it for so many different things. So today, I'm gonna to use it as the base, and predominantly the foundation as such. I'm literally going to pop a tiny bit of foundation onto my under eyes, and then maybe onto this blemish that thinks that it's coming out, of which it is not. It is going away. We are manifesting clear skin for this weekend. <laughs> And then I just take a foundation brush. Now this is actually one from Bobbi Brown, I believe. And it's fantastic. Just does the job. And I just super quickly blend that into the skin. Now, as I said, this product is so versatile. You can use it 
by itself in the summer when you are sun-kissed and just need a little bit of a tiny touch of coverage but the majority is just glow. You can use it as a primer, you can use it as a highlighter, it is just perfection. I also love to use it on my collarbones and on my chest if I'm going out with possibly a low neckline dress on or maybe a strapless top or strapless dress. It's so pretty. Now for a touch of coverage for two reasons. One, because I know that there is going to be photography and two, because I just want to ensure I have light and bright eyes. There we go, and I'm going to just dot that down my nose, on my chin, tiny, literally tiny bit on my forehead. I use less than a pea, literally half a pea amount. Always have a tissue, and actually that was even too much. I use the same brush, and I blend that in like so. I'm gonna take a mirror that's slightly closer to me. There we go. And I just blend that in. I'm getting also very warm <laughs> so please excuse me looking really rather rosy as well I don't need too much blusher today do I I also posted a Q&A the other day and I had so many questions majority from my YouTube subscribers about what you all want to see and so they are now in the YouTube schedule I have so much coming up over the summer we have my luxury by Leonor event we are going to Mallorca so I will do a I think I will do a house tour of the manor in Mallorca so that's exciting and I think you guys will all love that. Sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup and chat to you guys because I feel like you've all seen this bit. Um, well, if you haven't, I'm just actually placing my contour and this is the Fair Medium uh, Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. So as I was saying, I've gone through all of your questions and I thought it'd be really nice to just have a chat whilst I'm doing my makeup. So a lot of you have asked if Mark and I can do a Q&A together. I'm afraid that might take a little while. I'm most certainly going to have to persuade him to do that. He just doesn't feel that comfortable on camera, which I totally get. A lot of people don't like it, they get nervous, they love their privacy, which I totally respect. So all I can say is leave it with me. I will do my very best to try and get Marcus on camera. And if not, I will tell you guys all about our love story, how we met. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure that that is super blended. How we met and um, how long we've been together, our wedding, all of that malarkey. I've also had so many questions about my wedding dress. What was the inspiration behind it? All of that jazz. Again, I feel that I have so much to say about it. That is also going to be a whole nother vlog. And then what else were the questions? Oh, a lot of questions about my nails. What do I ask for when I go to the nail salon? So I ask for a French manicure with very, very thin tips. So it's almost like an American man French manicure. I have almond shaped nails. These are my real nails. I have the Biap, which is gel builder. It basically um, strengthens your nails and it's a lot stronger than just normal shellac. It's amazing. And like I said, my nails have never been in better condition. And I have to be honest with you guys, I do have my nails done back to back and I haven't let them rest for a very, very long time. So that is what I asked for, an American French manicure, very, very thin white tips, hopefully you can see that. Very, very thin white tips in an almond shape. I do also need them done, so please don't judge. <laughs> I'm having my nails done tomorrow. Gosh, I feel like I'm getting a Sula alert. I am so warm. Okay, now I'm gonna pop on a little bit of bronzer. 
<laughs> I didn't need to worry about the glowy base. <laughs> I think my sweat is doing that for me. Charming. What other questions? A stylish work from home outfits. I love that. I am actually planning a summer styling session that won't break the bank. I think from the 100 price point up to the 500 price point. So you're getting beautiful dresses. I'm not a fan of uh, fast fashion and I refuse to support it so I know when I say the dress is from 100 it sounds expensive but that's a dress that's still going to last you for so long. You're going to have multiple multiple wears out of it. You're going to have paper wear. Um, so yes that's definitely on my list. What else? More Holland Cooper. I'm most certainly going to be doing more Holland Cooper. You do not need to worry about that. I'm just planning a big project with them, which is really exciting. And I have a feeling you are going to love it. It really shows every aspect of my life and lifestyle. I don't wanna to give too much away, so you're gonna to have to wait for that one, but I will let you know when that is about to go live because it's going to be mega. I think I actually might film the behind the scenes of the photo shoot because it's gonna be wild. You guys know, I pride myself on creating exceptional quality content that is so captivating and that's different. I'm most certainly not a sheep. I'm an original, I do not want to be anyone else, I am already taken, <laughs> I am me. Um, so yes, I'm going slightly off piste again, um, but yes, lots more Holland Cooper. I'm sorry, I'm looking down. I have all my makeup in my little travel case at the moment because I've been on the road so much. Eyebrow gel, you guys know I'm not a huge lover of big, bold brows because I am so fair-haired. I love eyebrows on like a dark girl, like those mega Cara Delevingne eyebrows. I think they're so striking, but they look so silly on me. So I just use, I think this is Hourglass, or it could be Chantecaille. It's so old. This is Shantakai's Full Brow Gel, Perfecting Gel and Tint. I love it. And that really is my eyebrows done. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the bronzer. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Film Start Bronze and Glow Palette. And as you can see, I love the bronzer section. And this was actually the bronzer that I just went over my contour with. And I just think it's such a beautiful, golden brown and it's tonal which I love. You guys know that I'm all about the tonal outfits so I do like to incorporate that into my makeup looks as well and we are taking the eyeshadow up not down. We do not want to have droopy eyes, we want to have lifted eyes. So what else is on my list? So what do I eat in a week? So I probably wouldn't do a whole video on that. I have just filmed a very, very realistic, very real day in the life with me. So that is actually on my YouTube channel already. So definitely go and take a look at that because I do include what I eat in a day and I also cook the most delicious recipe. So if you haven't seen that already, definitely Definitely have a little look at that after this vlog. What else do you guys want to see? My workouts, I will definitely do that. Holiday plans. Holiday plans is a little bit of a tricky one. I wouldn't say holiday <laughs> because sadly I never switch off. Um, when I go away, it's always a brand opportunity to shoot content and I'm always filming. I'm always filming for you. So essentially it's not a holiday holiday, uh, but I have lots of summer travel coming up. As you can probably see, I am actually just getting rid of some of the product on that mascara. I love this mascara, I love the wand, but they have got to design a feature that when you pull the wand out, it sort of captures the majority of the product because no one wants clumpy lashes. And unless I do this, I fear that that will happen. So I'm just gonna do that. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes Volume Two. It's a glossy black. And as you'll be able to see in just a moment, 
it is absolutely amazing. So, back to travel plans. We are going to Mallorca for my birthday, which will be gorgeous. We are then flying directly from Mallorca to Switzerland for Mark's brother's wedding. He gave us six weeks notice. Yes, six weeks notice. He's been engaged for absolutely years and then a date became available and they just thought, should we get married? Which I love and I think is incredible. And then it's sort of no stress and it is going to be the most beautiful day filled with so much love and happiness. However, it has not given us much notice to get ourselves organized. But anywho, we're flying straight from Mallorca to Switzerland. We then fly back from Switzerland, have one day in the UK and then fly to Portugal for one of my best friends' weddings. It is going to be amazing. We went to primary school together and her fiance also went to the same primary school. It is honestly like a fairy tale and they were born to be together. So it is going to be amazing. Our entire friendship group is going and I cannot wait. So I will also be bringing you to the Algarve. It's gonna be amazing, we're gonna to go to Portugal. Then we come back from Portugal and I then fly back to Mallorca because, hold on, to your seats. Guess who is moving in this month? It has been, I think a year since the builders started at the house in Mallorca. The container left yesterday. Well, we had four different storage units, all filled with furniture, paintings, things that we have collected for years and years as a family. So the container left yesterday, and then Marcus will meet the container in Mallorca and start unpacking. So I then need to obviously go down and help him it is going to be a full, oh, uh, 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 finish the lip liner before I make some very dodgy looking lips. It is going to be a full family affair. We're going to do all of the unboxing together. I think it will be amazing. And as you guys know, probably from now that we have a very, very close family. We are a very tight family unit and it's just so exciting. So I will be spending most likely the majority of September in Mallorca. Oh, one of my clips have just come out. Great. Pop that back in. Pop that back in up there. You stay in there. Oh, I should probably put that bit in there as well. Sorry. Getting a little bit distracted. So as I said, I'm going to probably be down there for the majority of September because it's going to take quite a lot to, to get to the point where you have beautiful low roll holders to tissue boxes to the linen, the towels, the full spa setup. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to take you there and show it to you. It really is a masterpiece. Anyway. Right, I'm wobbling on, and again, we don't have that much time. So highlighter, my favorite highlighter of all time is the NARS Orgasm. And I just pop it on the high points of my cheek, touch on the end of my nose, I Cupid's bow, and depending upon how I feel, and the occasion, a touch on that eyebrow bone. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is my very glowy and bronzed makeup look done. I'm going to quickly pop on my clothes, my jewellery, and then I will come back and show you what I will be wearing. I'm so sorry. My phone is non-stop today. That is going on silent. As I was saying, I'm going to put all my outfit on and I will come back and show you what I'm wearing at two Claridge's for a divine Lillet event this evening. My gold mirror. <laughs>
and another outfit. This is the outfit that I will be wearing this evening. You have all seen this dress before. I am a real believer in investing in top quality items that you can wear time and time again. And this is a beautiful and timeless number from Erdem. This is a dress that I wore first of all at Chelsea Flower Show, multiple, multiple events and summer occasions this year already. And it is absolutely beautiful. It is so stunning. The greens, the blues, it's so pretty. It's also super lightweight, so I'm not going to get too hot out there because I do think it is around about 22, 23 degrees, so it is rather toasty. I have then popped on my Tiffon Fine Jewellery. These are actually Peridot. They're a very, very pale green drop earring. Actually, my birthstone. How handy. I wore these to the game fair and so many people commented on them. They are truly spectacular. If ever you are interested in a Tivon Fine Jewelry piece, just let me know in the comments below or send me a private message on Instagram and I'd be delighted to introduce you to the founder and the owner and you can have an appointment with him to discuss maybe a bespoke piece or whether you've seen something that I'm wearing that you have fallen in love with. He does have a ready to wear collection which is available to see on the website so definitely go and have a little look at that. Alternatively you can pick a stone and it is literally like being in a candy store. He specialises in rare gemstones, so the array of colour on the trays is just phenomenal. You can pick the stone and then create and design your very own bespoke jewellery piece. Whether it's earrings or a necklace, bracelet, ring, anything, he is absolutely amazing. Anyway, I have then paired it with my natural raffia Chanel flat bag and then my Manami wedges are actually downstairs so I'm going to pop those on. I will be taking the hair out once we get to London and then we will be off to Claridge's. It's going to be the most glorious evening. The sun is shining. I can't wait to see the girls. You will recognise them. There are some familiar faces. So, it is just gone past four. Let's go to London. In the car and ready to rumble. I'm hoping that everybody is going to be driving out of London and not into London at rush hour traffic time. So fingers crossed it's gonna take me just over an hour to get to Claridge's. It's gonna be such a gorgeous evening. I'm loving my outfit and it is the perfect evening to wear it. As I said, it is 23 degrees. It's half past four, so let's get a skedaddle on and I will see you when we get up to London. Same position different location. I have just got up to town. I actually had a really, really smooth journey up and I'm literally just parked outside Claridge's. I try to always get as close as I can to the location or... So, as I said, I always try to park as close as I can to the venue just for security purposes. I'm mindful that London at the moment it's quite a dangerous place to walk on the streets, especially later in the evening and at night. So I am literally just parked outside, which is fantastic. And as you will be able to see, I am just taking out my rollers. I have a meeting, actually, the event starts at six and it is at 22. So I'm gonna get there 10 minutes early. I've got a very quick meeting uh, with the Lillet team before people arrive, just to talk about my Luxury by Leonora events. Um, I hope that they will be doing Lillet spritzers, um, which, as I said earlier, are so scrumptious, and I can't imagine having a summer luncheon without a Lillet. So I'm really hoping they will uh, supply these spritzers. I'm so excited. I have so much to fill you in on. Um, and I feel like this luncheon is going to be my best one yet. Incredible brands involved. I was discussing the tablescapes. I've had meetings with the florist this week. It's all coming together. There's also going to be the most incredible array of inspirational ladies there. You all know that I adore 
positive, motivational, inspirational, entrepreneurial women. And that is what the day is all about. And also saying a massive thank you to those who have really supported me in this industry. It's just a way that I can, I can give back. Um, I think that that is so important. Whatever industry that you're in, people that have helped you or guided you or given you advice, no matter how big or small, you should be able to say thank you. So that this is, this is my way of saying thank you to them. Anyway, the hair is just coming out of the rollers. It is looking very big and bouncy. Look at that bounce. It's like when I walk. <laughs> so when I get to the top section, so when we blow dried it backwards, I tend to take a little comb and I do two back combing motions and it creates this wonderful height. So we're gonna do two there and that is the last section. I also take the comb and I brush through the top section just to ensure that all the sections from where we put the rollers in are all blended together to perfection. And then as you can see, <laughs> that really is a very big, very bouncy Leonora blow dry. I am gonna take my fingers through and just combine a few of those curls. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to poodle down to Claridge's. I will show you the iconic building, the exceptional flags. I'm looking at it now. It's a beautiful evening and I just can't wait. I always say this, I feel so lucky and so grateful to be able to come to events like this. And oh, it's going to be the most wonderful evening. I am, however, just looking for my lip liner which is here. This is the super size me one. I love it. It's slightly darker than my natural lip line. And then one of my go-to lip glosses is the, I think this is called the Refresh Rose and this is their collagen lip gloss. That is Charlotte Tilbury, by the way. <laughs> so Charlotte Tilbury's collagen lip gloss and it is such a pretty shade it's very very pale pink and it's a high gloss it's not too sticky and it lasts the evening right what do we need for our bag i'm going to pop in my comb lip gloss lip liner i've got my glass powder from rodeal that i showed you in my game fair vlog i am going to also take a little brush for it where are you this is what I mean by I travel around with my makeup bag. It's also so grubby. Should really wash this. Um, where is a little brush that I can use? Here we go. So I actually use like a blender brush and I will actually pop a touch on now. And then I've really got to skedaddle. Gosh, that spot. <gasps> Don't you dare think about it. You couldn't go back where you came from Okay, a tiny bit up here to ensure I'm not shiny or have a reflection in the photographs. There we go. And tonight we are celebrating Lillet's brand new cocktail menu in Claridge's. So that is what tonight is about. I drove up in my driving shoes, my Holland Cooper driving shoes. I can't quite show you, but I've got my Manaby wedges here. So I'm going to quickly pop these on and then we will be walking up the road to Claridge's. So I'm gonna pop these on, I will spin you round, and we will trot up the street together. Just arriving at Claridge's. It is one of the most iconic hotels in London, quite possibly one of the most iconic hotels in the world, and there is nothing quite like Claridge's. We are in the painter's room this evening within the Claridge's. 
It looks absolutely beautiful. I have a feeling the flowers are going to be exceptional. Look at this. Just poodled up to my car, just left the event. It was amazing. Obviously, it doesn't get much better than Claridge's. The girls are simply divine. Just the most incredible collection of phenomenal women. I feel so inspired and motivated and quite possibly, most importantly, supported by, honestly, I get emotional, the girls, Kendra, I love her so much. Chantal. All the girls are just amazing. I can't even begin to imagine how I ever thought that I'd have friends like this. And I suppose it started off work-wise. And then once you meet people who you are just genuinely meant to find, they are diamonds of human beings. So rare, but so beautiful inside and out. What an amazing evening it's been. I feel like wasn't able to share too much because the music was quite loud. I didn't want to get a copyright claim. Um, I was also just having the best time catching up with the girls. <sighs> I've had the best evening. Anyway, as you can see, I've got back in the car. I'm gonna get myself ready to drive home. It is saying, actually, Amazingly, I am literally sat outside Claridge's and it's currently saying it's going to take me 59 minutes to get home. Dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. Normally it's around about an hour and 15 with a little bit of traffic here and there. It is 10 to 9, so it's a little bit later, so there'll be no traffic. 59 minutes. I have also had canapes, so I haven't had any dinner, but considering my dress for Goodwood is really rather tight. It fit me perfectly everywhere but the arms. So maybe, you know, no dinner might be good for me. <laughs> not ideal. Do not recommend it. Um, but I did inhale really rather a few arancini balls. Don't regret a moment of it. Absolutely scrummy. Anywho, I'm going home to my husband. And I will see you guys when I get home. <laughs> Home, sweet home. I have had quite possibly the quickest journey back I've ever done it in. I think I did it in like 55 minutes. Obviously not speeding, but no traffic, no roadworks, nothing. Got home in record timing. It is <laughs> 10 to 10. So I spoke to you at 10 to 9, it's 10 to 10. I can see the dog room lights are still on, which means I've got some awake sausage people. So I'm gonna go inside 